Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, I fucking love the Dumpling Cafe. Yeah. But sometimes when you recommend Asian food, people get like, people don't like Asian food like that. I love that shit. I love that shit. I ain't tripping on shit. I love Asian food. Dim sum, all that shit, whatever. I just moved from a big city to like the woods. What big city? Uh, I mean, not a big city. A city that had food open. I should have. Yeah, I, li- uh, I straight. Yeah. I started this interview by lying to your face. <laughs> I apologize. Like, I, moved- I actually no. Like I'm, I'm mad. Nah, but nah, 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 for real. Uh, but they don't know late night food. Yeah, now. And I and hate. I'm I hate when I'm in mad, places bro. like that. Like, but see, like when you in Atlanta, it be, it be places like right outside of the city. Where you just like, all right, man, yeah, everything gonna close at at ten, eleven, maybe. The bars is closed. Yeah. The bars that got the food, they stopped. So they still serving lick, but they stopped serving food at ten. He was like, uh, the, why y'all yeah. to one then? The bar, y'all you're... stop serving food at fucking ten. Bars <laughs> close at one a.m. here. Really? Yeah. I thought it was two. No. Maybe last calls at one. Mm. Maybe it is two, but that shit is like that's trash, bro. That's trash. Cause we pulled in here like last night at like two twenty or some shit, and we was just like, yeah, we ain't getting no uh, Sam Adams, uh, whatever. Yeah, but bro. And then they don't some cold, a Cody and shit, man. But yeah, no. Nah. This is like a religious ass state because it's a Commonwealth, so it's yeah, like it's just it's just oh, annoying. And as soon as and as soon as this. He's gonna sound check for probably like ten minutes, so it's gonna be noisy for a second. <laughs> I don't really care. Yeah, we're at the yeah, Royale yeah, yeah, right yeah, now. You cool, got a cool, show you know? here. Yeah, yeah, it's sure. fine. People know that we're at the fucking. Yeah, yeah man. You as long as it ain't got them just fucking your video up. You know what I'm saying? We good. Oh right? no, nah, the mo- we're good. We're right, really sure, good with sure. that Bad. shit. How do you like tour life? Um, I like that shit, man. I like uh, just kind of like the camaraderie between you know, man, you and your goddamn. Your folks who who out who out on the road with you, you know what I'm saying? Like in this instance, it's me, Tig, and Larry. You know what I'm saying? So just like you know, problem solving and figuring shit out, and just being on the road for hours at a time, and you know what I mean, just the whole nine, the conversations and all that shit. But then of course you like getting out here in front of the people, like always. And this is a whole new crowd, like because I've never tour it with prof you know so. i ain't gonna lie i was surprised when i saw the lineup of this shit yeah man you know? i've been listening to you for a minute man and it was just a that, weird man. you know yeah, shout out laura man laura kind of piece of shit together man and uh hell yeah man it's been dope so far it's been three three sold out shows and shit now we're in boston crazy. tonight uh what uh, Hartford, Connecticut tomorrow, and then Providence, Rhode Island. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, so back to back to back. Type Damn, shit. all yeah. in the area too. Yeah, and in New York, That's so crazy. nothing too far. That's so fun. I was just when you're on tour with people, it is like you really figure out who they are and like you still fight him, bro. Like when oh, I, yeah, man, yeah, I just did down the East Coast, went to Atlanta with my friend, and I was yeah, like, bro, like we're gonna be friends because yeah, we man. could do this. See, like this ain't our first rodeo, so like we done, we done. It's like me and Tid, like our seventh tour, like, and this ain't even his. Uh, he's not even a real DJ. That's my manager. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like, we, really, I ain't never had a real DJ. So we be thugging it out, just like you know what I mean. Go, hey man, people headlining two thousand, uh, two thousand, three thousand uh, cap venues and shit, and we the direct support, like coming out with no DJ, no none of that, bro. Like we just kind of getting in, but we in the motherfucking uh, Honda. Honda CRX or some shit right now, bro. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, we prepared, but we uh, we wasn't just, like, prepared type shit. You that know, makes you know me I mean? like it more. Hey, I don't yeah. know why, but I like, that, man. I like like real. Yeah, real. It's rugged. It's rugged yeah. and shit. Like, but, you know. Shit's, when shit's too prepared, it's too lowest common denominator, yeah, you know? Like, I, I think that we do, we do a better job under pressure, man. You know what I'm saying? Like. I hate to procrastinate, but like you know, things come up, and you know, what I'm saying you kind of just. I feel like I, I'm uh, I'm I'm bad with time. I think I have more time than I than I. Oh <laughs> than I really yeah. doing shit, yeah. bro. I just be like, <laughs> oh shit, that's next week. Oh fuck, like you know. So yeah, nah, you know, 
Uh, I never watched anime before my entire life, and now I'm 900 episodes into One Piece, and God people damn. are like, "You're busy as hell," and I'm like, "Then how in six months Ooh. did I just watch 900?" And now watched, I'm an anime nerd. Have you bro? watched Blue Eyed Samurai? No, oh, I shit. never watched anime before in my life. Bro, before, Blue Eyed Samurai, I kind of knew. What's and it about? It's on, bro, it's on Netflix, bro. Go check that shit out, bro. It's almost like it's about the chick who, yeah, bro. That's a yeah. You'll fuck with it, though. Cheers. You'll definitely love it. Cheers. Slauncha. Are you taking the sake of Boston? Damn. Yeah. I'm, I actually poured a lot of here, so I've been I've been <laughs> sipping this. Oh, you've been sipping it? Yeah, because I got I pour like this much in there, like. Yeah, there so was I, that much poured a, in there I'm too. On a different, oh, I can I can chug it. I mean, I I I'll chug it. I chug it. I don't mean. I'm of, not trying for the sake for the sake of the goddamn. <laughs> the interview, man, let's get it, bro. I just didn't realize there was that much tequila in there. Hell yeah, man. So are you an anime guy? Um, Not really, man. I, I fuck with it, though. I fuck with it a lot of shit, though. Like, I fucked with the, with the, uh, with that, with the one that I just bought up, the Blue Eye mm-hmm. Samurai, just because somebody put me on to it. Somebody put me on to some shit, and I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, then I yeah. fuck with it. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a huge, like, movie buff, and... yeah. Hey, Token and I were shit. just going movie for movie, bro. Yeah, He's nah, a real like, movie, I'm, yeah, bro. I'm, 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 I'm big on all of that shit, bro. Like that's kind of what I eventually want to get into and shit. You know really? What I'm Hell yeah. Do you go to the theater? Hell yeah. I got the AMC pass, man. <laughs> bro. Like, that shit's a game yeah, changer. Pay seventeen dollars a month, man. I see as many movies as I want to, bro. I got that shit right now. I like to see how much I can sneak into the movie theater, bro. I, no, I be I used to do that shit. Okay. I used to would sneak in. What's going on? Oh, you good, bro? My bad player. All like, good, bro. You good? Shout you good. out. You good? Let me know. I used to got down with sneak in and some. Um, I used to would uh. Oh yeah, go and do one and then just watch like three. But that was before the stub hub passes and all that shit. Yeah, but I was sneaking Chinese food. Like I try to bring in like a full I meal. If that was the other. No, I don't think so. But yeah, no. Nah, oh, you bring try to bring a full. Oh, you ignorant, bro. I bring McDonald's in there. They're like, you why ignorant. am I? Why am I watching Kong versus I don't even Godzilla? Like open this shit. That sounds <laughs> no. Too I was like, is that a McDouble? What's the like, smell of that? Just smell that, my life. <laughs> yeah. They got a McDouble in this bitch. They yeah, just closed yeah, my the damn the town I don't no longer live in. Shout out Fitch. They just closed the like it was one of those like seven dollar movie theaters. Oh, like yeah, yeah. The, Bro, you the could bullshit smoke was in there. Yeah, the bullshit. No was, one was in there. You yeah, could smoke a they joint. They played movies that dropped last year. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wait, this is a this is an illegal right. screen. Why, why is there the guy's thumb right. on the screen right now? No, that's hard though. That's hard. <laughs> we still got one. Yeah, you smoke in there? Nah, nah, nah. I had a fire ass idea about some shit, but we gotta drive. We gotta drive uh, a driving movie in Atlanta, so like you can do that shit there. But I had a fire ass idea for uh, a smoking movie theater and shit. I ain't gonna give. It, I ain't gonna give it to y'all, but I got a fire ass idea. Like, you go to the driving a lot. Sometimes, like if I ain't, if it's late, it's fuck. And it's just like ah, oh, fuck it. I was the drive in, but I like to I like to be immersed in the show. I like to experience the show. I like to be inside the theater. Yeah. So you know, drive in. The drive ins go when you're young. That's cool. If you just wanna got down get fucked up or maybe got um have sex. Yeah, I used, that's what I used to do. But then yeah, you don't saying, realize yeah. everyone knows your car shaking yeah, yeah. and the windows are you know fogged. <laughs> it's like, why is that car shaking and the windows are fogged right, up? They know right exactly now. what it is. Hey, but y'all are here to do what? Watch the movie. So get your fucking eyes off of our our truck. Yeah, you see Civil movie. War, bro? I haven't seen it yet. That shit's crazy. Yeah, I, I had a, I had the opportunity. I had to choose. I had to. I was even could see that or. I'm I'm ashamed to say this, or Abigail, and Abigail was hard. Like, but I had my daughter. My daughter was with me, so I was like, ah, right. it's worse. like it's kind of heavy. Like, so I just wanted to see Abigail, and it was okay. It was cool. You know, what I'm saying the little girl, ballerina, vampire shit, horror. Yeah, yeah. I love like fucked up horror. Yeah, man. Like it has to be. Nothing. You ever seen Terrifier? Yeah, yeah, with the clown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had the producer on this podcast. That's fire, though. Shout That's out fire, Uncle though. Creepy. Yeah. That's fire, though, bro. Like, cause it's like, but I got, bro, I got some fire ass ideas for scary movies and shit. Like, because nothing, none of this shit be scary to me. I think the last scary movie that I saw that I was like, I right, bet, like, not to take away from anything, but was taught to me. I was like, "That's fire." Talked. Oh, with the hand. Yes. Oh, that, that shit was. was fire, mm-hmm. That was fire. And before that, I don't know. Uh, maybe it follows. 
I didn't like it. Follow. Oh, you crazy. That shit was hard. All right. That shit was hard. So I don't even know if you know this, but I'm a stand up comedian. So when I see shit I, like. I think I saw that. It's it, whatever. But when I saw it follows, all I could think about is like, damn, it's like a ghost STD. Yeah, that's what it was, right? But yeah. It's like I it's couldn't a, it's get a scared. Tale, <laughs> couldn't, it's a I couldn't get tale. scared because I was like, this ghost is gonorrhea right yeah. now. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, a precautionary tale, man. But no, it was hard. I, lo- I love the soundtrack. I loved how it felt like it was in the fucking 80s. I love how they made Detroit look. I love how I like it was it was certain scenes that were that were jarring. I, I just I love the way they executed the movie and the soundtrack overall was just like, oh shit, like they really killed this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like there were scenes that you didn't feel nothing like that since the sixth sense. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like when she's in college and she just she in a class and you see the motherfucker that old lady just walking walking across the shit, you like, oh shit. They like it makes you think about it like that, nigga. What would I do in that situation? I don't know. I just, yeah. I really fucked it. Like I wasn't scared, <laughs> but I was like, oh, this is a good scary. <laughs> but you wore a condom shit. the next yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Yo, I'm how do those businesses? Yo, how do they stay in business? That's yeah, what yeah. I want to know. <laughs> how are those companies staying in business? <laughs> right, right, right. What do you want to do in film? Uh, I want to be behind the camera. Yeah, yeah directing and shit. Hell yeah, man. I, I, I told you, man, I, I already started, like, writing shit, man. Writing screenplays and shit. Really? Yeah, so eventually, that's that's a that's a, a big goal of mine. I, I really want to I really wanna do that. Like, for real. Music, that's crazy. That makes sense, cool. though. Yeah, music's cool. But you're a good storyteller. Yeah, man. You're a really good storyteller, and I never put that together in the music yeah, to them. Like, I love that shit. I be trying to, like, make, like, audio like uh i want i want you to goddamn be able to visualize the album and shit but like it's only so much like oh and, and that's another thing just breaking out of the 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 boxed in realm of rap bro like like i love rap bro like got me my start and shit you know what i'm saying but like at a certain point bro how many times we gonna say the same thing and in a cooler way in a different way like how many times can we do this before it's repetitive and not a young, you know what I mean? It's just like, at, at a, yeah, just breaking yourself out of that and it, just being able to like fully paint a picture without any restrictions, bro, and just without like, oh, well, what is it like? Fuck the genres and all that shit. Like, fuck all of that shit. Like, so like, when I feel like I can't color outside of the lines of music, you know what I'm saying? I just feel, then I will go ahead and try to do something else. Cause I feel like coloring outside of the lines. I feel like people are like fucking stupid, and they just like put a uh, like they almost just don't understand. It's like, yeah, this is a musician, but they guess a human being. Like, they, yeah. <laughs> however he feels at this moment is how she, he should be able to express it. And if he can express it through through sound and it sounds good, then shut the fuck up. Just because you want him to rap, or just because you want him to sing, or just because you want him to do it, it's not that, bro. You you're know, not like a WWE character. Man, shut you're the fuck fucking, up, man. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I hate that shit. So that's one of the things I hate about music, bro. Like, you know? Like, but with, I think with film, it's like, it's different. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can actually, like, you just take, you're, hey, you take this. You either fuck with this shit or you don't. You get the fuck mm-hmm. on. You know? Like, what's your favorite movie? Of all time? Yeah. Punch Drunk Love. Oh yeah, that's but with like, Adam yeah. Sandler, I love the, the part, Paul I love the part when he fucks the bathroom. Up. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, wait, but I want to go. I, I want to talk about that movie, but you were going on some real shit that I really appreciate. Uh, you were yeah. talking about some real shit that I really appreciate yeah. because, all right, I hate, I hate interviews. I never yeah. watched interviews because they didn't seem real. Yeah. And th- not that this is real, because yeah. this isn't real. There's still a camera. I'm still doing an interview. Right, right. No, you know what I real, mean? But this is real. But it's like, I hated the character shit. And when I started doing this, when I first, I got really personal. I would tell really personal stories. And I didn't like that people listened to me. Mm. Do you feel that? Like, when you're yeah. saying you're sick, do you, like, not like that people are, because you're creating for you, but then they put you in a box yeah, of they what they see you I feel like I feel like rap is like, bro, especially nowadays, I feel like it's getting to a point where we're action figures. You ever remember when we were kids and we would buy an action figure and it had their origin story on the back of the box and you're just like, I feel like that's how they're trying to package rap music. Yeah. Like, 
oh, if, if this nigga can rap, rap. All right, all right, we're going to put him in a conscious. We're going to say he's conscious. But then if you're conscious, then you need to have a story. You need to be. That's why everybody try to, tries to compare to Kendrick Lamar or J. Cole. It's like, bro, niggas do not sound like them niggas. It's <laughs> y'all, y'all are basing two niggas who have been, who have been popping since fucking 2009. Yeah. It's 2020 fucking four, bro. Get the fuck on. Move the fuck on. If y'all like, like, bro, these niggas are legends. It's cool. But every time y'all hear something that got substance, nigga. Oh, that's like Kendrick Lamar. Like, bro, yeah. shut the fuck up, nigga. But when y'all hear some ignorant shit or some shit that ain't saying shit, y'all not asking for the backstory on that. Y'all not asking where this nigga. Well, how did he blah 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 blah? blah. I was what's his upbringing? And them niggas, them be the niggas from the suburbs. <laughs> them be the niggas from the suburbs. The nigga who talk yeah. about flipping pets and shit. Them niggas be from the suburbs. You know what I'm saying? Who ain't really go through shit, nigga? Them niggas just got down hit real quick off a, off a track. But then it be the niggas who actually been through some shit, who got down rapping about some shit, who can actually put you know what I'm saying like like put time and, and actually have a have a passion for that craft. Who actually did go through some shit where it's just like, oh, now y'all want to blah blah blah. It's like, bro, it's so fucking backwards. If you really lived a life to the fullest or whatever, you right, weren't right, less, right, right, right. You wouldn't know how to do social media. Yeah, certain shit was. But like, people nigga, know nigga, how to do social media, yeah, and bro. they don't realize that that's a skill set. Yeah, bro. Of, social media is a skill set. It's not rapping yeah, stuff. Man, like that should be. So they're fast, good bro. at. They're good at publicizing themselves. Yeah, bro, that should be so fake, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and there's a lot of things you see in this game, and you just be like, damn. And 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 that's why I respect, uh, just like the old, like the people are old, like. Who didn't even have to necessarily adjust to this, but f- was already bucking it back then, like the Kurt Cobains and even like a Frank Ocean. It was just like, yeah, eh, y'all niggas finna get this music. This is what I'm here for. This is why y'all fuck with me ultimately. Y'all not here to fuck with me as a personality. I'm not on the, it's not a fucking TV show. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all not here to fuck with me as a personality. Y'all here to fuck with this music, bro. That's yeah. what I have to offer you. I'm not offering you a goddamn a, a personality. This ain't motherfucking MTV. This ain't VH1, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't like someone who sells themselves. Yeah, bro. Like, but then yeah. you try to sell yourself. Exactly, bro. Like so, like to me, like when 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 you were watching those interviews from the nineties. That's not in the camera. If you want to sit there. Yeah, yeah. come on across. Shout out my nigga Ted, man. <laughs> um, so so in in the in the in these in the nineties and shit. When you're when you got down watching when you're rewatching the interview with Kurt Cobain and and he's literally just trying to he's literally trying to tell you like bro the music I, bro all this shit like bro it ain't about me it's about goddamn what I'm putting in this music and what y'all hearing how y'all how y'all are taking this like what y'all getting from it that's what it's about but now of course these days we're, bro we wake up and we look at our phone for 15 minutes before we even get out of bed yeah. But do you think that's ever gonna go away, Fuck or no. do you think that's the new norm? I think that's the new norm. Like, how old? Not how old's your daughter? She's twelve. My oldest is twelve. So you probably she teaches me shit on the phone sometimes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like they be knowing a little shit about certain shit, and it's just like, oh, that's cool. But it's shit that I don't give a fuck about. But I'm. Maybe I'm old. I don't give a fuck, though. I can be old. Like, whatever. Nah, we're witnessing evolution. Yeah, we witness the evolution, bro. We're witnessing evolution. and But, like, cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take. You good? So, um. Art was great. I lo- I, See, I just, I'm a professional I feel, fan. I'm a professional. I love the 90s, bro. You, you I'm stick I'm very nostalgic, bro. Like, I love that shit, bro. I love... The TV shows that were on. I love how music was goddamn, how how music was consumed. I love how you had the best of both worlds. You could play a video game, you can go outside and ride a motherfucking bike. You got to could be outside with shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you, like you still. It wasn't like this is the fucking future, and it's just like it's just different, bro. Like, but do, do you think that's better, or do you think that's better because you lived through it? Like, do you think your daughter is happier now than you were at her age? Well, she got them. Well, she's in a position where she doesn't have to. 
well, she can thrive. Well, we put her in a position, uh, in a position to thrive. So she got them. I'm not saying that I wasn't in a, in a, I was in a okay position. I, I was okay, like, but like, yeah, no, nah, I wasn't. My my shit was far uglier than hers. But you still think that was better? Yeah, no, because that was my life. That's how I grew up, bro. Like, so if we got them, I, we had to stay with grandma's house. We had to stay at grandma's house. We had to got them. We get evicted here. We got them going over my auntie's house to get to use hot water, like whatever the case was. Or I'm got them going to my my best friend's crib because our lights out. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody at the crib or it's cold. And it's fucking there. Like, still. That's you take that you take that's 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 bro you take the good with the bad, like you still got the the sweet memories you still got the nostalgia you still got the first the girl the girl that your first girl you ever got down kids you were still you know happy what I'm saying like yeah you happy because this is what this is your surroundings this is what your mm -hmm. this is your environment you're not looking at it like of course you know compared to the other kids like okay damn man why the fuck we done got down why this our fifth crib in the same area like so but. I'm happy, bro. I still got them. Can you know? I still got cousins, and we still ride bikes, and we got them slap box, and we got them can play Nintendo sixty four. But at the same time, sometimes we just outside on the bike all day, going around wherever the fuck. To we, it's not. I don't feel like it's like that now. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the richest are the loneliest. Like every rich motherfucker I know doesn't keep many people around them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that is well, probably a correlation. Also, I also think at a certain point, man, like you're not able to. Um, I feel like reality. It's a different reality when you get to a point like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like a lot of times, the outsiders almost push themselves away without knowing that they're pushing themselves away from rich people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because they put themselves in. Because they're already looking at it like, oh, this you're rich. I'm mm. this. Blah, blah, blah. And it just, it rubs off that way. You feel me? Yeah. I see that. Like it's I hope you don't take offense to it. Like because I'm not speaking about you, but I'm, I'm speaking Richard about rap. Yeah, yeah. No, but I'm speaking about rap. I see that with like artists who tie themselves to one person. Okay. And it's like you tie yourselves to that one person and you don't realize how many different ways you could be that person. Right. You just try to copy oh, that yeah, oh, yeah. one like, like, person. Like like one person literally or like the rapper. No, the one person. Like Yeah. Yeah. Like you put you just tie yourself you like you tie yourself to one person. Yeah. I like I like artists who work with everybody and believe in themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, know what sure, I mean? Sure, it's sure. like for sure. And you're I not think, trying to And see the crazy part about it is nowadays though, I feel like that's like like, bro, I feel like the shit that you do, like, if it's not of, like, if it's not a popular move, then it's just like, it don't even got them getting noticed and shit, you know? So, like, yeah. when you do shit, when you're not just tying yourself to certain shit, when you're just like, I'm, I'm my own individual, like, it's cool, like, oh, yeah, I'm with my dog, or I'm blah, 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 this is that, like, it's not looked at as cool until it's looked at as cool by fucking everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't really, I don't try to, I don't try to go for shit, bro. Like, I be cool yeah. in it, man. Like, I don't try to like, and it's not like I'm not trying. Like, I like, but I don't really extend myself because I feel like that shit just opening opening you up to like fake ass energy and shit. Like, you know, you know how people just jump on some. Like, if it, last night you got you posted a picture with Benny the Butcher and and motherfuckers and some motherfuckers who ain't ever even checked your shit out before just jump on your shit and just like. You know what I mean? Just go through yeah. there and blah blah. Just because they saw you with their favorite person or whatever the case may be. Yeah, we were before the show. There were people, all everyone standing around, and yeah. no one was saying hi to me. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then Benny comes up, is like Sam Buck, right? And then everyone's like, "Oh, bro, good to meet you. Right, Who are right. you?" It's I'm like, like, I just hate, okay, cool, I just hate yeah. that shit, man. Like I'm just, bro, I just really don't like that type of shit. And you know, oh. you got to play the game, but like. Can I, know, I can I ask you a question? Yeah. Honestly, we can edit it out if you yeah, don't want yeah. me. Did you you got a song like hmm? you got a song with Eminem? So did you mm -hmm. feel that like you got to the pinnacle of what people think they want, and then it's like, but you're still on your grind. That's not your yeah, story. You know right, what I right, mean? Right. Like your story is what you're yeah, living every yeah, day. Yeah, no, I think that. So like we signed it. 
Um, I guess we 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 get because I think it's been like speculated, but like so what we did, we signed a distribution deal with Shady. You know what I'm saying? So like it's it's Trey Society and Shady, right? And, and M, bro, M is dog. Like I have nothing bad to say about M. I don't have nothing bad to say about any of them. You know what I'm saying? But like I think that Eminem is such a huge artist. Like, we were listening to him when we were kids, bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I think that M is such a huge artist that it's it's a black hole. It takes it takes everything. It sucks in everything around it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, there are, and shout out all of the, all of the motherfuckers who, like, do, can differentiate and can, like, pull out, pull themselves outside of that shit and be like, oh, no, nah, I fuck with him. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't got to ask him about When's Marshall dropping? Like, like I'm gonna know. Like yeah. I'm supposed to know. Like, bro. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm, I, I signed. I'm, I'm signed with Marshall, yeah. so that's my best friend now. Yeah. yeah like, no, do you bro, know when bro. your boss is? You know, he's, doing, I know Do you, you know, know what your boss is doing on the weekend? You know you're fucking dropping? at McDonald's. Is like, that what are you him doing? that took this picture? Of you, you like, bro. Well, fucking Come be on, stupid bro. as hell. Like, yeah. Eminem is still a, is still as much as uh, a unicorn yeah. and an anomaly to me as he is to y'all. I just meet him. Every now and then, and do you play think music that fucked him. with you? Like, are you? No, it doesn't fuck with me at all because I I get it. I, I bro, think about this, man. I I I saw this shit. I saw the I saw the rise of fucking Eminem, bro. Like, I know yeah. how I know how this shit go. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't tripping on that shit. Like, I I don't trip on it at all. But then just like as soon as you say something like this, you have fans like, oh, he's ungrateful. And it's like, bro, how am I ungrateful because I'm acknowledging how you guys act yeah. as fans? Like, it's not an ungrateful thing. Like, you I'm, know what I mean? Like, I love, I love him. I love Pa. I appreciate the opportunity. I, hey, every chance I get, I'm thanking him. Like, but this ain't that. The fans are a whole different thing. You know what I mean? So, I don't yes. trip on it. You know what I mean? Like, I love them. I love them too, man. I love all y'all. Mwah. Like, I know West Side Gun is not in the same level at all but i remember after working with him and like being able to tour and get him on the podcast it was like his sixth interview ever six months later i'm roofing like i'm roofing and siding and shit and people are dming me like asking shit about them it's oh, like what's, what does roofing mean nigga? making a roof putting a roof on the house Oh, I was literally roofing for a job. Like, <laughs> I was up on the roof putting That's roofs right. on that shit. Really? But it's like, really? you swear to God, bro, when people are DMing me, like, when's he dropping? What's, what's this shit going on? What's this shit with Travis? It's like... Bro, that's an opportunity, but every day's a day. That's a day. That's twenty days. That's one hundred and thirty exactly. days ago. That's exactly, not exactly, bro. It's, it's not, fucking. It's it not, pisses me it's off, not real life. bro. It's not, it's not real, real time. life. It's, it's not an opportunity, real time. but that's not your life, exactly, like, bro. And I think that people just get fucked up with it, where they just don't understand, nigga. This is a fucking deal of some sort. This is business. This is business. Yeah. This is business. That's all. This was. This is what music is. This is business. Music is business, bro. But for, people feel no, so for shitty. Us, for us, it's it's a it's passion. It's a passion and it's a business. But for us, a business, bro. For most of these people, bro, I was like y'all gotta understand that, man. Like you, you can't. You know, like I I think that people just get stuck in la la land. People are upset with their job, and they don't look at someone who looks like they're living their life yeah, to the fullest. Yeah. As us, you have a job too, right. like you and have a job, like, you had to drive here. Yeah, for us, this is a you fucking didn't wanna, job, nigga. You didn't want to come to Boston. Right, bro, you didn't want to. We hey, drove. You didn't even want to do this interview. We drove, not to be like. <laughs> but you know what I mean. We like, drove fucking twelve <laughs> hours with me and bro, me Tig. Oh, my nigga Tig, man, my nigga Larry, bro. We drove the first, the first, like, bro, we doing all of this shit, bro, just to goddamn, like, I right, people don't get it, bro. Like, we're, we appreciate Prof for the opportunity, but, like, bro, we're in front of his fans. Yeah, we try to take some. Man, we, man, we try to sell some merch. Ooh. But, like, people don't understand, bro. Like, this shit ain't, this shit's not consistent. Like, nigga, we riding a Honda CRV. Like, nigga, like, it's goddamn, this shit is not comfortable like yo you know what i mean like yo like we're literally packed in this bitch sardines claudine pauline <laughs> charlene <laughs> do you ever wish you had just signed up for the regular life no 
No, because it's what we do it for, bro. Like, I throw my brains out if I was if I was just on some regular shit, bro. I hate. Cheers to that. <laughs> 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 and this is, and that's not to knock it's that's not to knock like people who got now have to provide and do it not my like bro I just I feel like uh I don't know bro like and this doesn't sound cocky I don't know I don't want to sound this sound cocky and shit but nigga I'm just I meant to I meant to put something out that's just like lives past me goes beyond me you know, in this past, what the fuck, nigga, I can be gone. You know what I'm saying? But forever, that bitch just be here. Like, and that's just where I'm getting to. That's what the point I'm trying to get to, man. Like, you can affect so many people, bro. Like, just put your footprint in this bitch, man. Like, But have you already done that? In, in certain realms, maybe. But, like, nah, bro. Like, to me, it's touching as many people as possible, right? And then it's, like, all walks of life and shit, like, I like when I got to hear certain music, bro, because I listen to everything. I barely even listen to rap. Like I told you, and it's not me knocking rap, bro. It's just like, nigga, okay, how many niggas gonna say the same thing in different ways? Yeah, like cool, bro. Like, like, but if you, me, if you I, work in that <laughs> food, if you work at a restaurant, you're not going to that restaurant. Yeah, right, either, bro. Really like, good. okay, yeah, bro. Like, I get it. We get it. We get it. And niggas can rap their ass off. It's I can name to you ten niggas who can just. Fucking kill lyrically, but it's, eh, how often do you want to hear this? Is this what you listening to every day? Like, no, bro. What I want to listen, to, what I want to make is the shit that I want to listen to. I I listen to rap, but like, I rather listen to some shit that got them actually like provokes thought and feeling. If a nigga just saying a whole bunch of words because they rhyme, it's not provoking thought at all to me. I can do that. You know what I'm saying? I can do yeah. that, bro. It's not evoking anything. You know what I'm saying? Like I need to got that. I want I want to bring out feeling. I need the motherfuckers in the crowd. Like, you ever see Michael Jackson concerts? And these motherfuckers ah! They fading. Not like, because they feel that shit, bro. He's saying something to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it ain't gotta be pop. <laughs> You but, want people speaking in tongues. No, nah, hey, <laughs> yo, 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 come on, bro. Like it gotta be some shit. Like, bro, they gotta feel that shit, man. It, like how many times, bro? Yeah, okay. You can borrow up some shit. You can spit some shit. Like, I been doing that shit, nigga. I started this shit, nigga, when I was fucking whatever the fuck, nigga. You know what I'm saying? All my album, go back and listen to them. But like, nah, I just want to go out there and do some shit. But I think you, all right. Everybody can feel that shit, bro. I've been listening. I remember being in college in 2017. Li- I'm 26. Listening, listening to, to your shit. Right, listening something. to your shit. And it's cool because I like to see your progression. You have, l- yeah, like, cool. I was a no, but I was a I was in college. Bro, I didn't, who yeah. was I? Now I have some, not that I'm huge, yeah, but it's like, cool. it's cool to do this. And you have created something that, like, at least in some way affected me and I know no, no, it because of that affected like, a lot of people. No, and that's great. And that's what you that's why you were doing it that whole time. But then eventually you st- I still got shit that it will affect you as you grow up. You will be 20 you 26 you'll be you'll be yeah. 36 soon. I'm like, "Oh damn, nigga, that new grip. That's the that's the shit that I yeah, I can fuck with that. But if you give up on it, then I won't be I'm able to. I'm not giving to. up on it. What I'm telling you is, I'm going, <laughs> I'm going further, bro. Mm-hmm. It's the evolution of grip. You want to, want to see the person be the same person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I so do. Now, I so do. now you can bump this shit at your wedding. You like, you can't bump shit from snub nose at your motherfucking wedding, man. Mm-hmm. So now you got music where you just like, oh yeah, you grew with this person. You know what I'm saying? Like this person grew up. Like this person can't just be this. This fucking oh yeah, he just this 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 same person for through his whole fucking discography. Shut the fuck up. So That's you don't li- you don't listen to rap. So did you? I, I listen to rap. Did but. you listen to Danny Brown's newest album, Coranta? Shout out Danny Brown. I love Danny Brown. I'm I'm Bruiser. Shout Brigade. out Danny Brown. Bro. Shout out. I ain't Bruiser. hear that shit, man. He's sober now. He's I heard so, I heard good things about it though. I, I actually went to the show. I went to the last show, the scaring the whole show, at a Tabernacle. Um, Wait, I was at that show. Yeah, I was there. That's you know, hilarious. Who got you in? Dan, I'm Bruiser Brigade. Oh, really? Yeah. Who got me in that bitch? Uh, uh, what's the name? Um, what's my boy's name? Parker. 
Oh, Dart. Dart. Yeah, yeah, yeah Dart's yeah, the whole. Yeah, bro, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. Dart. Yeah. That's yeah, so a Dart got me in that motherfucker. But nah. But. Shout out to Eddie Brown, but no, I haven't. He's sober now. He's sober now, and it's cool because his album is about. It's like nothing he ever put out before. Is it dope? It's dope as fuck. He's not rapping in his fucked up voice. He's just giving you who he is a depressed 40 year old sober guy. And that's dope. And I love Danny, and I love seeing him get sober, but it was cool to see. I get what you're saying. Yeah, that's dope, man. Like, bro, I told you, bro, like, this is evolution, bro. Like, Niggas want you to say, oh, we missed the old blah, blah, blah. It's like, bro, bro, shut the fuck up, man. That's where I made I made this shit when I was in a certain position. However many years ago, you were at a certain point in your life. It's cool, man. You go back and listen to that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you grow with the artist. You know what I mean? All that other shit, like, bro, fuck all that shit. Yeah. And I feel like niggas who got down just make the same shit over and over again and are, are stick to a formula are generic ass artists. And they don't got them they don't deserve the the motherfucking uh all the respect and shit that they get. They're generic. They're not pushing shit for it. They are they do the same thing over and over again. They follow a recipe and a, a formula and fuck them really. You know do you saying? still excite yourself when you do certain shit? Like in the like when you make a certain song and you Yeah, like, bro. Yeah. Cause I know. I be knowing like damn, bro. I'm like, oh shit, I might have outdone myself. <laughs> Just like the overall, like for every for anything that I ever made, I might have outdid myself this time. What's your proudest moment? Mm, I don't have one. Well, I guess for right now, like I guess, and this would be kind of like a playing off the nostalgia shit that we've been talking about the whole time, but like. Um, I think that it was uh when we got down was uh waiting on the Eminem the Eminem feature, you know what I'm saying like, and we knew it was incoming type shit like like, <laughs> and but we just didn't know when it was coming and shit right. It was like I was at the movies and shit, and I think Tig sent me this shit like, like incoming, and uh, I left the movies and I played this shit. And I was like, damn. Like, not even just, like, it was just more so, like, the kid in me that was just like, damn, bro, like, me and him on the track type shit, like. Do you like, remember what you movie got to you were seeing? Um, I don't know. I just remember I was ready to walk out of that bitch halfway through when the, when the, when the text message got. <laughs> when the text hit, like, oh, shit. You're just playing it in the theater? Like, like, <laughs> yeah, I, I waited. I waited. I was like, nah. I ain't you waited? Here. Oh, yeah. I was, you I was waited? Ready. I went. I got. I went. So to, I, got to, I had to go to the car. Like fuck this. Fuck <laughs> did you this. play it on your phone audio or did you wait to plug it in? And I plugged that bitch in, bro. Yeah, I'm crazy. I plugged that bitch in. Man. <laughs> Roll, rolled around in that bitch. I might have rolled to my homie house, my mama house. That's uh, you know, but now, nah, um, but just more so on some just like full circle shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, but I think now, like. Learning instruments and got them just getting deeper into music and starting to do live music um, with fucking musicians and like instrumentalists and shit. Like, I feel like that's that's like becoming some shit that's like I'm super proud of. I've always looked at like bands like performing and shit. Just like I always put that over just a, a nigga rapping. You know How do saying? five like, people get along? Exactly, bro. And be in sync and all that shit, like, and just, like, to rehearse and just, like, it's just, to me, that's like, oh, shit. I can go out there right now. I could literally drink this whole fucking bottle of fucking Casamigos and go up there and still put on a good show. Like, just because I'm just, you know, I'm, remember, I'm remembering words. Like, these are words that come, you know what I mean? Like, it's rapping and shit. Like, yeah. So, but, like, with the other shit, when it's just, like, everybody got to be in sync and it's, like that shit means a lot to me so that's why I was I always respected it so that's why I kind of just been like uh, just more so delving into that into that realm of shit I never thought about that before with comedy people are like how do you get up there by yourself it's kind of easier. That's easy, It's kind of right? easier to be by yourself. Yeah, How do you get up there with a bunch of motherfuckers? Everybody got to be in tone <laughs> and yeah, sync and it's like mm-hmm. that's that is nuts. Yeah. That's crazy. That, now I get why you want to make a movie. That's like 3,000 motherfuckers on your shit. idea. And it brought like bro and imagine when it comes out it's like that's like the ultimate high that you would get from that. You know what I'm saying? Like all that yeah. is me and T got them go out there and like 
we just kind of like I signal each other like, uh, yeah, drop it. Yeah, we ready. Yeah, all right, bet. All right, nigga. Nah, like so. Imagine, like I said, just like where I want to go is like if I've already like devoted my all life to music. Like to me, I feel like why not dive into this bitch and really get lost in it? And pick, like I picked up a guitar, I pick up a piano. I'm trying to got them do all of this shit. Yeah. Hell yeah, like because. I feel like, bro, it's fucked up. But Quincy Jones said it. Kanye might have said some shit like, he's the greatest, blah, blah, blah. And, and Quincy Jones was like, hey, you a rapper, nigga. Like, you don't know. Nah, bro. Like, step it up. Like, and it's not to anything against rap, but it's just like, you'll get in certain rooms with musicians and be like, oh, shit. I get it. I just been rapping. And I'm good at this. I'm good at rapping, I'm singing, and I'm writing. But when niggas is calling notes out by ear, I think this is C sharp. And you're just like, nigga. Yeah, classical you music. You don't want to feel like a fucking, bro, you feel like an idiot in those yeah. rooms. And you're like, classical music oh, isn't shit. good, it's impressive. Man, it's impressive. But, it's but, imp- but, I wouldn't but, listen to that shit, but it's impressive. No, 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 no. no. 300... It's not even classical music. <laughs> this is regular music. No, yeah. But this is music that I'm making with some people, and 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 they're like, what what, what was that? What, what were we starting with? And they're just calling out a fucking F sharp, and you're just like, oh, no, nah, damn. I got to... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get to that point. Because what are you doing if not? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they, they're doing, they've been doing this. So, you just get the easy route just because you just rap. Like, it's just easy for you. Like, oh, it's just rap. Nah, bro, apply it. Because you're doing music for your whole life. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you mm-hmm. just, if you decide to commit to a woman. She's gonna be a lousy husband just cause. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, man. You wanna you, you wanna gotta figure, commit you gotta, Yeah, you gotta commit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta commit. Or else what the Yo. fuck are you doing? Yo. You're playing. You playing at a certain point. You're gonna be a lousy husband. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't actually oh, know. Like Yo, she says she that's... likes this, she loves this. I can peep certain shit that she likes. I know that this you're gonna commit. That's... Because you are already committed. That's hard as hell. So it's like, why not, bro? Why yeah. not? Like, what's stopping you from doing it? If you're gonna commit to something, why not go fully go full in? in. in. No like, this shit already yeah. taking you. This shit, I, we were able to speak about this shit for over well, however long we've been talking about right now, because we have that much feeling yeah. about this shit. We feel a way about this shit enough to where we can have full on conversations and we can we could literally talk for three more hours and not, bro, like for yeah. real. So like. When you look at it in the grand scheme of things, bro, like if you've already committed your life, you're a musician, bro. If I'm if motherfucker asked me when I go to the bank, and motherfucker's like, oh shit, what do you do? Yeah, I do music. I'm a musician. Right? Mm-hmm. It has to be like, nigga, you gotta push, you gotta push it. Like, but that's discipline. So like anything in life, like, so like if you wanna start working out and blah blah blah, you wanna drop weight and shit, this is that. Like it takes discipline, right? Like, okay, cool, blah, blah, blah. I know that I can't just work out. I know that also the dieting, also this, also that. Yeah. Cutting back on certain shit. You know that. Like it's all it's a marriage. It's a it's a it's a combination of things. It's the same with music. And if I don't want to just be like, yeah, I'm a rapper. If I don't want to say I'm a musician. You're an artist. I'm an artist, right? You know what I'm saying? Like it's a it's a yeah. marriage of things, bro. Like it can't just it ain't just oh shit for real. Like you a musician? What you play? Oh, the microphone, my voice. <laughs> like nah, nigga, nah, nigga. Did you just say you're a rapper at that point, or you're yeah. a singer? You know what I mean? But like, like if you want to get to the point and put that work in that all these other motherfuckers dead or alive did, put that work in, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing stopping you. Yeah, you know I went through. Saying? I went through a breakup and I got into Rod Wave, as most people who get into Rod Wave do. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> and he had shit. a bar. He had a bar. Whatever he says, fuck perfect timing, and it's th- honestly what I, you know how certain shit sticks out with you. And I do think that, like, 
you can't worry about your mental state when you're trying to forward progress. If you don't want to do something, you kind of have to just work past it. Yeah. Like, if you want to commit to a relationship or a workout or a job or being an artist, there's going to be sh- days that you hate. There's going to be months. There's going to be well, year, maybe shit. a year that you don't want to be. But if you really want to commit to that shit... It's yeah, a, you gotta a, cut, you gotta cut your hand, shake your paw, you know what I mean? Like, with the universe, and you gotta commit exactly, to that shit. Exactly, bro. And the universe, like, bro, yeah, that's real, bro. You know, you know, you know that shit, bro, like, but yeah. You but do I hope shit. people listening understand that, because a lot of people don't understand I, that. I think a know? lot of people don't understand it, and I think that. I don't know, man. I got a lot of thoughts, but fuck that shit. But. You don't wanna give them? Um. I don't know, man. I think that me and you can sit here and talk the realest shit ever, but based off of who we are in our current situations, it don't get as much goddamn, as many looks as it's supposed to get because we're not the most popular guys. And that boy, hey, that's a full circle that goes back to all this other shit. Yeah. Go back to all the other shit. And twenty years from now, you know what I'm saying? When 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 it's when it's popping, you better invite me to your movie premiere. Yeah, no, they they going they going back they going back like oh shit like this is from 20. but yeah man so it really don't even I mean it's cool man we can drop these gems and shit but like until motherfuckers realize bro like you know I I I can't explain it but it's just like I actually could it just take a long time but. You either hear us or you don't. Um, yeah, you either hear it or you don't. It is what it is, man. We ain't got down forcing out of here this shit, man. We here, we out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Me, my dog, this is man. The we, bucked you know, up podcast. The bucked up podcast, man. And, Should, and then, do you want to end there? Should I ask you a silly question? You can ask me whatever you want to ask me, bro. If you were in medieval times, what would your job be? Dream a dream job or like what it, or like a dream yeah don't or like don't what I would be I don't, based yeah. off of who I am I'd probably be a no, shit shoveler I just ruined this shit don't get I'd me canceled be a shit on this shit. Uh, but if I was in the medieval times uh shit man I'd probably be a knight I'd probably be a knight <laughs> I'd be a knight I probably I I would want to got down watch over to uh nah I ain't gonna say that I get canceled I say that. As long as she was of age, as long as she was of age, I would like be the princess guard, nigga. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but I'd be like, <laughs> she gotta be of age though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that type of nigga. But nah, uh, uh, yeah, nah. <laughs> I'd probably be like, yeah, uh, like yeah. Guard. eighteen or older year old princess. Nah, she gotta be like, goddamn, twenty three, <laughs> at least. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, 18, like, uh, like Yeah, no, nah, you're right, you're right, all right. Yeah, I didn't mean to put you in that box. Uh, but yeah, no. Nah. I'm going to say 36. <laughs> she got us. <laughs> Either that or I'll be a dragon slayer, if there were really dragons. I don't know, but yeah. We don't know how that princess looks. <laughs> I know, man. For you could be a dragon slayer. All princesses are bad for some reason, you know? So, like, you'd assume. Yeah, you ever bad. see a, a beautiful woman, and you're like, are you beautiful or are you rich? Oh, yeah, man. I'm scared of witches. I'm scared of witches. I'm scared of voodoo and all that shit. I believe in voodoo and all that shit. Yeah? I believe in witchcraft, bro. For real. I know someone who said they got a hex put on them. Yeah, I don't never want that. An know? ex, like, he cheated on her and she put a hex on him. And he's like, everything started falling up. I don't want none of that. A voodoo doll and some yeah, shit. Yeah, I don't want none of yeah. that. Bro. I don't ever want a voodoo doll. Yeah, like if a bitch me. wants to read your tarot and, cards, and run away. Pins in my run away. As a voodoo doll, like, I don't want none of that, bro. No tarot card <laughs> reading ass. Yeah, I'm done. I'm good on that shit. Nah, for real. This has been the Bucked Up Podcast. Bucked Up. Thank man. you for doing I this, man. man. I, I really appreciate you. you. Thanks yeah. for sitting with Thank you for sitting down and listening yeah, yeah, to man. us. Shout out my dog T. Peace out, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah